Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this problem. In this problem we are given that this force F is acting in this particular direction and its magnitude is 80 pound and we are required to find the F of X component of this force, F of Y component of this force and F of Z component of this force, right? And in this problem we are given this alpha angle and beta angle. We are given the direction angle of this force F with the x-axis and y-axis, right? So alpha is the angle of this force with the x-axis and beta is the angle of this F force with the y-axis, right? So this alpha and beta angles are known as the coordinate direction angles, right? So now let me draw a line perpendicular to this F of x, right? Let me draw a line and join this, the head of this F of x force with the head of this F force. And let's say that this triangle which is formed by joining these three lines, let's say that this is a right angle triangle and let's say that here we have 90 degree angle, right? So now if we look into this triangle per in, a, in a direction which is perpendicular to this triangle, right? So then we will be able to see that it will be a right angle triangle and this line which I have drawn in pink color, this line will be, if this line is perpendicular to this f of x, so then we, uh, this triangle will look like a right angle triangle and if we apply cos of alpha to this right angle triangle, right, so we can write cos of alpha, so then cos of alpha is the base, right, so in this particular triangle the base is f of x, right, so f of x and the hypotenuse of this triangle will be this F force, right? Let me draw that uh, triangle from this direction, right? So it will look like, let's say that this is my x-axis, is right? And let's say that the y direction is inwards, right? So let's say that the F of x is acting in this direction. And let's say that this is that F force, right? And let's say that this is that pink line, which will join this F force, uh, right? And this line will be perpendicular to this one, right? This line is perpendicular to this one, right? So if, if this triangle is right angle triangle, then if this is, if this is F of, F of X, and this is F, right? So, and if this angle is given, if this angle is alpha, right? So then if we apply cos of alpha to this triangle, then this will be F of X divided by F, right? And from this, we can write that F of X will be equal to F cos of alpha, right? Similarly, we can draw one another triangle. Let me remove this, right? So let's say, that if I draw a line which will join the head of this F, F of Y with the head of this uh, F force, right? And again, let's say that here, this angle is 90 degrees, right? Again, if we look into this triangular surface, let's say that this surface is formed, right? By using this triangle, right? So if we look into this triangle from this direction, right? So then this, this will look like a right angle triangle, right? And this will be the perpendicular of this triangle, right? And this force F is making angle beta, which is 45 degrees with the Y axis, right? So now if we apply cos of beta to this triangle, if I apply cos of beta to this triangle, this highlighted triangle, then cos of beta will be F of Y. F of Y is the base of this right angle triangle divided by the hypotenuse which is F, right? So from this we can write that F of Y will be equal to F cos of beta, right? And similarly if I draw one another triangle, if I join this, the head of this F of Z with the head of this F force, right? And now if this angle is 90 degrees and if we consider this triangle, right? So then if this force F is making some angle with this uh, Z axis is R if this F of Z component, let's say that that angle is gamma, right? So then if we apply cos of gamma to this green triangle, then cos of gamma will be uh, base, this base is F of Z, 
divided by hypotenuse this hypotenuse right the hypotenuse of this green triangle is again this f force right then f of z will be equal to f cos of gamma right so from this we can conclude that if we are given the angles these uh, direction angles with x y and z axis is respectively then f of x will be f cos of alpha similarly f of y will be f cos of beta and f of z will be f cos of alpha uh, f cos of gamma right so if the angles of the force of the given force is given with x y and z axis is, so then we can find f of x f of y and f of z by using this uh, cos formula right so all of these components will be the cos components of that given force right so now as we can see that alpha angle is given right this is 60 so f of x will be we can find f of x directly using this equation then f of x will be f cos of 60 and f magnitude is 80 cos of 60 similarly f of y so f of, y, f of y will be f cos of beta so 80 and cos of beta is 45 degrees and similarly if we, this angle is not known let's say that this angle is gamma so the gamma angle is not known but uh, in trigonometry we have this identity if if i write that cos square of alpha plus cos square of beta plus cos square of gamma so this will always be equal to 1 right so using this equation we can find cos of gamma right so i can write cos square gamma will be equal to 1 minus cos square alpha minus uh, cos square beta right so we can write that alpha is 60 beta is 45 right and to find gamma we can take the square root right so then we can find that square root 1 minus uh, cos of 60 squared minus cos of 45 squared this will give us cos of gamma equals to 0.5 right so cos of gamma is 0 0.5 and if I take cos inverse so this will give give me gamma angle so cos inverse 0 0.5 is 60 degrees right we can find it so cos inverse 0 0.5 this is 60 degrees right so this means that this given force is making 60 degrees with the z axis is, right so this means that f of z component will be equal to 80 cos of 60 degrees right so we can find f of x which is 80 cos of 60 so 80 cos of 60 is 40 right so we can write that f of x is 40 pounds similarly f of z is also 40 pounds and f of y is 80 cos of 45 so this is 40 square root 2 or it is 56.57 right so f of y is 56.57 pounds right so this is these are the components of that given force right so this is the solution of this particular problem